G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here and this week we're talking about sex differences in autism. Now of course we all know that males are more commonly diagnosed uh, with autism than females are, but what we haven't really got to the bottom of yet is just why that might be the case. Study we've linked to this week is a really interesting um, brain imaging study which involved 45 um, girls on the spectrum and 47 boys on the spectrum. Really important numbers because it's relatively equal number of boys and girls which often doesn't happen in these kind of brain brain imaging studies. What the study focused on is an area of the brain called the posterior superior temporal sulcus, which is an area of the brain involved in the processing of visual stimuli and thought to be a little bit different um, in, in people on the spectrum compared to the typically developing population. Now what they found is that in boys, yes, um, boys on the spectrum, um, that area of the brain processes uh, visual stimuli differently to typically developing boys. But actually when they looked at females, they found that it was a different area of the brain that was processing information differently for girls on the spectrum versus typically developing girls. They then did a genetic analysis and what they found is that um, females on the spectrum had more genetic differences in their DNA um, than boys on the spectrum did. Now, taking this all together, the main takeaway here is actually this study identified that there are gen different genetic um, pathways that lead a child, uh, a boy to be diagnosed with autism versus a girl to, to, to um, express the behaviors of autism. Uh, that, that's also consistent with a lot of error in this research that there are fundamental biological differences between girls and boys on the spectrum. Of course, it's a very big generalization and each child is different, but nevertheless, it's a really interesting study and we wanted to share it with you.